After a period of success that broke up the dominance of the old firm up north, Alex Ferguson moved to Manchester United in November 1986. Ferguson had significantly widened the net of his scouting team at Old Trafford and, with Eric Harrison, were in the process of turning towards youth. Three seasons without a trophy left his head on the chopping block with the Manchester United hierarchy sharpening their knives. Success was needed in order for Ferguson to keep his job at such an illustrious club, especially with the Merseyside dominance of the 1980s. The third round draw of the FA Cup gifted Manchester United an away tie at two-time European champions Brian Clough's Nottingham Forest. United were in 15th place in the old first division, Mark Robbins, an academy graduate, kept Ferguson a job with a 1-0 win at the City Ground. Robbins would net the winner in the semi-final replay at Main Road against Oldham Athletic, which granted United a final against Crystal Palace. In the final replay, fellow United Academy graduate Lee Martin won the FA Cup for Manchester United. The rest, they say, is history. Between 1990 and the present day, Manchester United have claimed 13 Premier League titles, 5 FA Cups, 5 League Cups, 2 European Cups, a Europa League and a Cup Winners' Cup. The foundation of such successes were made by Alex Ferguson, acquisitions like Roy Keane, Eric Cantona, Peter Schmeichel, Andy Cole, Dwight York, Ruud van Nistelrooy, Rio Ferdinand, Cristiano Ronaldo and Wayne Rooney, as well as the conveyor belt of youth, most notable of which was the class of 92. Alex Ferguson retired from Manchester United in 2013 as a Knight of the Realm following a treble win in 1999 and remains the most successful manager of all time. Manchester United remain one of the biggest football clubs in the world. But let's slide the doors open, gauge the effect of the butterfly and rewrite the football in history books. Here's what would have happened if... Manchester United didn't win the 1990 FA Cup. When the full-time whistle blew at Wembley on May the 12th 1990, it was Brian Clough and Nottingham Forest raising the FA Cup trophy aloft. They had beaten Manchester United after a replay back in January and rounded the campaign off with a win in a replay over Crystal Palace. Brian Clough's final piece of silverware as a manager was underscored the following day with the breaking news that Alex Ferguson had been sacked as Manchester United manager. In a statement, the floundering league position of 13th was cited as well as a failure to pick up a trophy in Ferguson's almost four years as a manager. The Crystal Palace manager and former United player Steve Coppell succeeded Ferguson at Old Trafford. Coppell curbed successive bottom half finishes with a ninth place finish in 1991. Chris Woods was signed as a Jim Layton replacement in goal passing on Peter Schmeichel prior to the final Old First Division season. This signing along with acquisition of Roy Keane gained Manchester United two places climbing to 7th. The likes of Lee Sharp and Ryan Giggs hit their stride and United finished 6th season off. Leeds United's Eric Cantona top scored with 22 goals. Halfway through 93-94 season, with Leeds United well on their way to a third successive English title, Ryan Giggs was swapped in a transfer deal with Aston Villa's Steve Froggart. Coupled with an FA Cup final defeat to Chelsea, an 11th place finish and Lee Sharp being sold to Leeds, Steve Coppell was sacked. Ron Atkinson returned to Old Trafford in the summer of 1994 and immediately made enemies with the supporters. The Neville brothers and Nicky Butt were all let go, the Nevilles to Berry and Nicky Butt to Arsenal. Meanwhile, David Beckham and Paul Scholes broke into the first team. United finished sixth again, thanks mainly due to an understanding struck up between Mark Hughes and David Beckham from the right. Blackburn broke the Leeds United monopoly in the Premier League in 1995 with a 12 point win. Atkinson and Roy Keane were, however, on a collision course. After a 5-1 loss on the opening day of the season to Aston Villa, Keane was sold to Newcastle United, joining a certain Alex Ferguson. Nine months later, Ferguson claimed his first Premier League title with Newcastle, on goal difference from Blackburn Rovers, who were to acquire David Beckham six weeks later. Despite this marquee signing for Blackburn, Newcastle would saunter to a nine-point win in the 96-97 Premier League season. Meanwhile, Manchester United had lost the likes of Steve Bruce, Gary Pallister and Mark Hughes. For the 1997 League Cup final defeat to Leicester City, Atkinson lined up Manchester United in his traditional 4-4-2. Chris Woods kept the goal behind Stephen Carr, Gary Breen, David May and Dennis Irwin in defence. Andre Kanchelskis and Karol Poborski were on the wings, with academy duo Ben Thornley and Paul Scholes in the middle. Chris Armstrong and Brian McClare led the line and then scored just 17 goals between them in the league season. Leicester City won 2-0. United finished 14th and, as the advent of foreign football left a mark on the Premier League in Arsene Wenger's League and Cup double in 98, the subsequent 16th place in the league was the end of the road for Big Ron Atkinson. Ferguson and Wenger led a monopoly on English football into the new millennium. From 96 to 2004, they won every single league title and all but one FA Cup. Blackburn, Leeds, Chelsea and Liverpool all took turns in finishing in third place. Newcastle's Roy Keane, Alan Shearer, Andy Cole and Ryan Giggs lined up against Arsenal's Patrick Vieira, Sol Campbell, Thierry Henry and Nicky Butt in some of the biggest contests in English football. This included a Champions League quarter-final in 2001, where an Andy Cole double clinched a semi-final berth for Newcastle. However, both clubs would come up short in Europe, with neither side making a Champions League final, despite an ever-presence in the tournament. 
In 2005, Jose Mourinho blew the Premier League wide open. Roman Abramovich acquired him for his newly bought Blackburn Rovers and three successive Premier League titles followed. In the midst of this run, Ferguson claimed his first European titles with Newcastle winning the Champions League in 2006 over Barcelona and 2007 over AC Milan. Arsene Wenger at Arsenal, however, had settled three FA Cups and a solitary league title in 2008. Ryan Giggs of Newcastle and Nicky Butt of Arsenal were both engaged in the friendly rivalry, the only two graduates from the cliff to win top flight silverware in England. Paul Scholes was the only graduate from the class of 92 to retire at Manchester United when he was forced into an early retirement due to an eye injury in 2006. Gary and Phil remained at Bury until their retirements in 2011 and 2013 respectively. In their tenure at the Lancashire club, Bury soared from the 3rd division in 94 to the Premier League in 99. The peak of their careers would be a trio of cup finals from 2004 to 2008 in the FA Cups, in losing efforts to Arsenal and a loss in the League Cup to Tottenham. David Beckham, however, after a two-year stint with Blackburn, took his talents to Spain, where he would retire alongside Xavi, Iniesta and Lionel Messi. Under the stewardship of Pep Guardiola, Beckham adopted his latter career game to a central midfield role. Barcelona would go on to dominate Spanish and European football for a number of years. Let's take it to the winners and losers. Newcastle, winners. Because they won numerous Premier League and Champions League titles. Manchester United, losers because the wait for a Premier League title still continues to this day. Chelsea, also losers, because Roman Abramovich doesn't buy Chelsea, they remain a mid-table club throughout the 2000s, as Mourinho joins Abramovich at Blackburn. Berry, winners, because they became a staple of the Premier League. Blackburn, winners, because they had a sustained period of success in the Premier League without the relegation in 1999. This video was made as part of the What If Football launch day. Each week starting from Monday morning a new scenario will be published right here on YouTube.